Hey guys, we got something really great in store today. Gum out multi-system tune-up for gas, ethanol, diesel, and oil. So, cleans complete, fuel system restores fuel economy, improves engine performance, stabilizes fuel and oil, helps smooth rough idling, lubricates upper cylinder, fights ethanol, cleans direct and indirect fuel injectors, removes fuel and oil residue. Well, we're definitely going to find out if this stuff works. They claim their way to fame with advanced PEA. So, the states that does have, in fact, a lot of PEA in it. And, as you can see, we have a lot of methods to test this stuff out, to see how well it burns, to go inside the engine and take a closer look. Also, see how the temperature changes, how hot does this actually get and things get out of control we got our trusty fire extinguisher so let's go ahead and get started checking out the engine compression beforehand now let's go ahead get this spark plug out So as you guys can see, the spark plug is very clean. Well, we're going to find out if the spark plug actually remains this way. Now guys, we're going to get our compression gauge hooked up. I want to know what the compression is before we even use gun mount multi-system tune-up. As you can see in all my other videos, you can find out information on cleaning intake valves, inside the combustion chamber just about for any fuel additive there is and if you'd like to see an additive tested then make sure you guys drop a comment below let me know what do you want to see tested so we got our gauge hooked up now we're ready to fire this guy up and see just how much compression she's bringing in let's find out how much compression that we're bringing in So as you guys can see, we're hitting about 50 PSI's. This is before we add anything to the system. This is completely cold. Well, let's move on to the next step. As you guys can see, it's time to add some fuel. We're bone dry. As always guys, the camera that I'll be using to check out the inside of this engine the temperature gun also along with the borescope camera that goes inside the engine I'll be listing everything in the description below check out the link for more details more information on these products that I use also the gun mount if you want to know more about it make sure you check that out let's go ahead and add our fuel I want to show you how this looks before using any gum out. Then I'm going to show you how it looks like after using gum out. So let's go ahead and fire this engine up. Prime the engine. As I said, make sure you check out the links below and You'll be able to find these cameras so you can see inside your own engine. Well guys, let's go in for a closer look and see what the exhaust temperature is.
so as you guys could see it turned out to be about 300 degrees Fahrenheit and the engine has just been started up so let's give it a moment to warm up and guys I'm not seeing any visible exhaust smoke at least not yet Let's go ahead and check out the exhaust temperature. As you can see, it's just over about 400 at this point. And as you can listen to the sound of this mower, it's definitely about to run out of fuel. And I'm really excited to jump in show you guys the before and the after of this gum out multi-system tune-up we'll move on to the next step of the process in the meantime I want to show you guys how well gum out multi-system cleaner actually burns so as you can see we have everything set up over here now let's go ahead and open the gum out multi-system tune-up Go ahead, take that safety tab off of it. Let's go ahead and add our gum out multi-system tune-up. Clean, or is it not clean? So you can see it has like a yellowish tint to it. So as you can see, I'm trying to ignite this stuff. So far, it's a fairly clean burn. Let's go ahead and add our gum out multi-system fuel cleaner. It says add entire continents to the fuel tank, but since we have an entirely small fuel tank, not the 18 to 21 gallons it recommends, then we'll just go ahead and add a few ounces. This will be a high concentration. We still have the gum out burning and we'll continue to keep an update on just how well this stuff burns. I'm really excited to show you just what this mower looked like beforehand. So you saw we run it on regular gasoline. Now you're gonna see what it looks like inside the engine. We're gonna go ahead and proceed in through the spark plug hole. Wow, I can already see a lot of carbon buildup starting up on this new engine. So this engine's Barely been ran a few hours. You seen I put it under a load, cutting the grass. This way, it would make it a lot harder for the engine. So it's already starting to accumulate this fast. I am really surprised with how fast this is going to accumulate. But the sea foam did fight it off, and it did not happen under use of sea foam. So what about gum out? Will it work? All right, guys. Now, are you ready to see just how good this looked with the gum out fuel additive? I know I am. So, you guys definitely saw the temperature earlier, and temperature turns out the same. So far, on the fuel additives that I've ran versus the gasoline, the fuel additive, has been the same. Here we are at the spark plug. Really doesn't look any different. I don't know. Make sure you guys let me know what you thought, if it actually helped any, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you want to see any test ideas that you have in mind, hey, make sure you guys just let me know 
and we'll take care of those. I want to do everything I can to help out the NIA community, keep sharing information to help others out, let people know what does or does not work. Let's see what the compression is. So as you guys can see, that really hasn't changed. We do have the same compression. Let's move on to the next step. Alright, now let's see. Did this stuff actually clean anything up? The moment we've all been waiting for. Is gum out going to hold up? Well, let's go ahead and into the spark plug hole and find out just what happened. So far, you can see these serial numbers. and You can track it. The carbon that's built up around the serial numbers on top of the piston crown and so far so good not seeing much of anything looks really great so what do you think how does it look to you make sure you let me know I'm not seeing much myself but I always like to hear your guys opinion because the community is definitely what matters. You can see this stuff has completely burned out. And if you look right here, this section of the glass is pretty clear. So there's a lot of carbon or soot. That's uh, to be expected, I'm sure. But what do you guys think? Make sure you let me know what should be next. What do we need to test? Thank you guys for watching. Nate's Interactive Auto.